All right, guys, I'm so excited to be back and get a video out. I know it's been a long time, but I gotta tell you, this video is about the first flight I took out with the motorcycles hanging under Scrappy, how the new ailerons and flaps worked out. I think you're gonna like it. I had a blast, and I gotta tell you, I always knew I thought it would be pretty fun to have the motorcycles land somewhere, riding around for a few minutes, but ever since I've had them, I am, I'm blown away. It, it's completely changed where I wanna go with my airplane. And now that I've experienced flying on Scrappy around with motorcycles on, board i can't believe there's places i've been that i just landed on and there was really nothing to go see because it would have been hours of hikes to see something cool the motorcycles changed everything backcountry flying is a whole new experience so i guess i'm just saying i'm shocked i I like it more than I ever could imagine, and it works so well with the solar-powered motorcycles. So let's dive right into it. We're gonna show you our first backcountry flight with Scrappy and motorcycles, and we get an opportunity, we're gonna dive into a bunch more. So I hope you join me. Let's get back to work. It's physics, math, and engineering. Machine it, draft it, build it, test it, break it. Every time something new gets built, the entire world advances. Laying in bed at night, it's designing new parts, designing new suspension, designing new wings. All right, guys, we're gonna take Scrappy out today. I'm super pumped because we've got the motorcycles on. We did a couple of quick little test flights around the pattern uh, just to see if we needed to lock the brakes on the tires. We don't, which is awesome. The wind actually hits both almost equally. At some point, if I get a really high angle of attack, it rotates about this fast and then just stops. So it's nice I don't have to lock the brakes or zip tie them or anything like that. We're gonna actually take it, go a long distance. I'm gonna take her a bunch of fuel. It's gonna add quite a bit to the roll. This plane can carry a lot. I got motorcycles, I got gear. We filled up the gun cases with really important stuff. So we're gonna go take the motorcycles up and ride. We've got my friend Josh is gonna bring a stock PA-18 certified cub. We're gonna take my wife and she's gonna follow along in her yellow carbon cub and Scrappy. Let's put it on top of a really high mountaintop and uh, go play with some motorcycles. After that, we'll get back to work. All right, guys, I did a little video on top of this mountain. I <laughs> just paused it 
and I'm doing an insert because there was all kinds of background noise and motorcycles peeling out. You couldn't hear what I was saying. So let's talk about how the new wing upgrade worked out. I extended the flaps, I extended the ailerons, I grew the ailerons in length and in cord, and I put an over center so that I could help with power steering. So let's dive into it. First of all, one of the first things I had to pay attention to is I had set my wing to try and neutralize pitching moment as the flaps and ailerons droop with the front going out. And I sized the growth of the front of the wing to counteract the pitching moment of the back. A lot of aircraft, when you drop out flaps, especially big ones, that essentially this plane is entire length of wing because the ailerons droop, would create such a massive pitching moment. I countered it with the double leading edge of the front of the wing. Now, what was fortunate is I always wanted a little bit of back pressure as I added flaps, maybe not needing to trim, but just a, a tiny bit of pressure because I prefer landing with a little bit of pressure pulling towards me. When I added this, it took me from absolutely no trim change to I could touch a little bit of trim or maybe five pounds more aft pressure, if even that, just slightly more pressure. So I'm really happy with that because I felt like I was almost exactly neutralized and that's great. And now I just feel I have a little bit of pressure on my hand when I deploy full flap, full drooping aileron and full front. So I'm really happy with the pitching moment. Um, as far as how it worked, the plane, yes, it's flying slower and we'll get some videos when we have more time and we'll get videos of that and showing it go really slow. But uh, pressure inputs. That was the other concern. I added so much more aileron in, in length and in cord that uh, I was a little bit worried about how heavy the stick would get. The over center on the front I created to catch the wind and help give me power steering absolutely worked perfect. I can't tell any difference, even though I have a much larger aileron now, longer aileron. The forces feel exactly the same at all speeds. I couldn't be happier with that. And then also how much more aileron I got completely changed the extreme slow flight phase. Before, the plane's flying slower than I ever had anticipated, which is just exciting. But when I found out it was flying that slow, I was using a lot of aileron. It never ran out, but I was using a lot. So that's why we made this change. And now I would say I'm using 30% less throw to do the same thing. So now in extreme slow flight, even with a little bit of wind pushing around, I am hardly moving the stick at all. I'm certainly not getting near its max. And now I feel like I got a lot more margin and safety even at that extremely slow speed. So, oh, I couldn't be happier with it. So anyway, let's get back to riding motorcycles. This has been so much fun. Then we'll get back to work. <laughs> That's so fun. <laughs> country is beautiful. Oh, all right. For those of you who have questions about the solar panels, I'll give you a real quick rundown. Yes, the bikes can be charged while we fly. It can be charged either by solar or with a touch of one switch. I can charge from the aircraft alternators so that while the bikes are charging, even if it was overcast, um, the solar panels can be peaking off the wing battery banks. There's two battery banks, one bank in each wing. And if we landed and the, the sun wasn't great or there was a little bit of overcast, we could still put out a couple hundred watts of power. To, to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. 1.21 gigawatts! And we have enough battery banks to fully recharge whether or not we had sun or not. And if we just have some sun, we are actually able to go ride, drain the batteries dead, come back, charge both motorcycles simultaneously off the solar. And if the solar's a little bit short or we don't have the perfect light, we can charge both bikes up by using partial solar, partial battery. And if we go riding again, before we get back, all the wing batteries are fully topped off. It will charge faster than we can consume it. So there's no way for us to run out of energy. And every night when we stop or camp, we have unlimited power. I can run 
literally multiple floodlights. I plugged them all in. I have an app on my phone. And with all the floodlights on, which was just simulating heated sleeping bags or coolers or anything you might want to plug into it, when the sun goes down with several high power floodlights plugged in. Don't look right, keep your eyes shut. It still said I could go for 24 hours off the batteries alone, no solar. So I got a lot of power. We shouldn't be able to use it up, but we're gonna go out and try right now. <laughs> All right, let's get out, get out the big guns. It's right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We have it all. <laughs> Take a look inside. <laughs> snacks, snacks. What's most important? The snacks. <laughs> I have Cheeto puffs. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's gonna be orange all over my wife. Right, guys we got scrappy lowered down to get the motorcycles on but i have something even more exciting than loading motorcycles on scrappy again and that is i've got a new program i've been dreaming about for a while and i'm going to give it a shot and i hope it works the first time i flew a plane and got it two inches off the ground my first flight experience with a flight instructor i was hooked game over airplanes for life and here i am making airplanes and doing flying videos and i want to share that love of flight with all of you so i have this crazy idea and i hope all of you can help me out i would like to take all these wonderful contributions of people buying my silly shirts and gear and take that money and spin it in a big circle and huck it back out there and pay for people's first flights. So I created a add on my website, mikepady.com, where flight schools can get on and say they're a flight school. I can connect with you and send you some money and have you help find some people and take them on their first magical flight. Also, if you're an individual flight instructor, there's a place you can fill out and I can see, put you in a drawing and just be able to send random people all over the world and pay for their first flight experience as well as a place for any of you who just follow the videos and maybe somehow through this knucklehead decided you might actually dare and try something crazy like flying in a small airplane, I would love to pay for that. Get on the site, just fill out your name and information that you would like to try flying for the first time. And I'm just gonna randomly select people from all of those flight instructors, flight schools, and those of you who want to have their first flight paid for by me and start picking them as I sell more gear, shirts, hats. I've already got an amount I'm gonna send out right now because so many of you bought my Support Our Troop shirts. It was surprising. I'm gonna be able to get a bunch of you your first flight paid for, not by me really, but by all of you, followers, friends of aviation that decided you wanted a coffee mug or a shirt or a set of scrappy spars or something else, I wanna give it back. So let's get some people airborne. Let's see how this works. If you know anyone who might fit any of those bills, I am super excited about it. I have brand new shirts that came in from several of you, drew up some fun flying aviation shirts and I put them on the website. There is even more designs coming and I've sent checks out to those of you who came up with an idea that's ended up on my website. And I wanna keep doing that to say thanks because all of you are contributing to this channel and that contributes to growing our wonderful, awesome family of aviators. And if you're not a flight instructor, a flight school, or someone who wants the first flight, I really would like to ask for your help. I don't do it very often. Please help me out by just maybe sharing this video with anybody or just letting people know I would like to find a way to pay for these flights and just put it out to the world so I can connect all of you who would love the first opportunity to fly and all those out 
there who have never seen any of these videos so they can see this video and enter in and I have a chance to send them up for their first flight experience. Those of you who have contributed and those of you who may contribute in the future, thank you. We are gonna grow general aviation. There's even a place on my site, someone suggested it, and I just put on contribute to get other people into aviation. And some of you guys did it without buying a shirt or a hat or anything. We're gonna turn around and give this back and make sure we get everybody flying. So thank you. What do we have next on Scrappy? We have some really cool things coming. I still need a twin turbo this beast. I need to get a constant speed prop done and I need to build some cool wingtips. The ones on it were just to cap the end off so I could make Oshkosh join all of you out there. My question I have for you is this, and if you could please make comments, I'll go through and make sure I really go through these comments and read them myself. Now, I try to every time, but I wanna get through all of them. I really wanna know. I've been so busy working. I haven't had time to work on Scrappy, build any airplanes other than some projects that you'll see later. In the meantime, rather than just gapping out these videos, if any of you would like to see more videos about what occupies my time, maybe about the company or the water technology, traveling across the country, I can have airplane flights in it in uh, my other aircraft I travel in, but about what I do on my regular daily basis, I would love to hear it. Maybe about the water tech, maybe about my grip, grip lock ties company where we manufacture rubber line zip ties, how we do it, maybe the machinery that runs it. If you'd like to see some of that stuff, maybe I can fill in and tighten up some videos that are about traveling and what aviation has done to make my businesses more successful and grow faster. If you'd like to see some of that content, let me know. Maybe I can make a video on that. Thank you guys. I love you. You know the drill. Back to work. All right, guys, I want to give a quick shout out and thanks to Horizon Hobby and all of you that have been watching the builds of Draco, Scrappy, everything else. There's going to be some cool news coming out soon, but let's start with something I can tell you today, and that is Horizon had these on back order forever. They finally got caught up, and now that they're caught up, they called and let me know that for only a few days until the 6th, they're putting this on sale. So instead of $6.29, it's $5.29. So I want to give a shout out because I, there's a lot of you that may not ever know or, or recognize that it's gone on sale. So I just want to let you know you can save $100 bucks on this. Also, if you use, the way to get it is use the link below and it will direct you to it and then use the coupon code SUPERSALE and that'll save you hundred bucks on this. They also, if you're in the RC, they have a whole bunch of other stuff on sale. So click the link below. That'll get you over there for all the other sale items. But I'm super excited it's back in stock. And uh, if you already have one, uh, maybe you can pick one up for a friend or a family member or a kid somewhere or do what I do. I've got a couple, stick it on a shelf in case one day you screw up <laughs> a crosswind. You might need a spare. So anyway, I appreciate you guys. Love you all. Thank you for following along. I'm gonna get back to building airplanes. So back to work.